Yeah. Lead us from the pains and difficulties of the life to the sustainable and permanent peace. Our Vedic prayer always being chanted as Luka Samasta Sukhino Bhavandu. Let everyone in the world become happy. We have never prayed that let only the Hindus become happy. We have never prayed Hindavaha Samasta Sukhino Bhavantu. We have never prayed let all Indians become happy. We have never prayed Bharatiyaha Samasta Sukhino Bhavantu. We have never prayed let all those who are worshipping Mahavishnu, let all those who are worshipping Lord Krishna, let all those who are worshipping Lord Rama go to heaven. We have never said. Hindu's prayer used to be Sarve Bhavandu Suginaha. Let everyone become happy. Sarve Sanduni Ramaya. Let everyone become healthy. Sarve Bhadrani Pashyantu. Let us see everyone in their glorious energetic form. Ma Kaschit Dukkha Bhag Bhavet. Let not even a single person suffer pains in their life. So our prayer was for everyone. All the 700 crore people in the world, whether they are Christians or Muslims or leftist or rightist or Middle East or, or those who hate Hindu Dharma, those who follow Hindu Dharma, independent of all these factors. Let everyone become happy. Our Vedic prayer tells you Sahana Vavadu. Let us exist together. Sahana Ubhunattu. Let us share the result of the work together. Sahaviryam Karavavahai. Let us work together. Tejasvina Vadhita Mastu. Let us enlighten together. Ma Vidvishavahai. Let us not have hatred towards anybody in the world. This is the constructive message given. This is the positive, really effective messages given in Hindu Dharma. And these are all the messages of Vedas. Hundreds and thousands of Vedic prayers are there. Bhadram Karne Bhisruna Yama Deva. Let us all listen through our ears the glorious messages of the world. Bhadram Pashima Kshabhirya Jatraha. Let us all see the glorious positive things around us. Stirai Rangai Ihi Tushtu Vagam Sastano Bhir Vyashema Devahitam Yadayuhu As long as my body is composed of healthy organs. Let me undertake the service of the people in the world. Do divine good things for others. That is the message of Hindu Dharma. And also we can say our prayer continuously goes through Ramayana, Mahabharata and Puranas. Next, we will go to the another question. What is the purpose of life, aim of life in Hindu Dharma? We have got a variety of answers for that. See, the purpose of life in Hindu Dharma is getting the experience in our life, not preparing for a life. So, living a happy life, living all type of experience, encultured life. Many a times we think that when 
we pray to the god for getting something that is a preparation for living but hindu life is experience of living what is the real message of hindu dharma upanishads tell us that uttishtata jagrata prapyavara nibodada this is the purpose and pathway of life this has also been quoted by swami vivekananda what is uttishtada gloriously stand up gloriously wake up and face the glorious life with a glorious positive attitude that is uttishtada jagrata please remember that you are living in jagat what is the meaning of jagat jagat means the one which is born the one which is maintained for some time and the one which get destroyed after some time the birth maintenance and the death whatever things have got this beginning middle and end that is what is called jagat brahma satyam jagat mitya jagat is temporary so jagrata means be aware that you are not permanent here be aware that you are living in this world so be aware that you are not permanent be aware that you may be here on the surface of the globe earth for about 27000 days or 28000 days if we say that you are here for 80 years that means you are here for 1 billion second that's all before your birth who where you were not known after your death where you will be not known in between these two dehi nos min yada dehe kaumaram yovanam jara tada dehandara praptir dhiras tatra na mukhyadi so the birth and the death in between you have got the play ground so uttishtada jagrada prapyavara nibodada enlighten yourself continuously by acquiring knowledge from the scholars that is the purpose of life gloriously waking up remembering that you are not permanent here enlightening yourself every minute by acquiring sustainable and permanent knowledge from this scholars but the rishis from upanishad tell you that churasya dhara nishida duratyaya durgam padastat kavayo vadanti that pathway is not that easy it is difficult even then it is good so that is the life message of hindus and for a common man it is told the life message is purushartha